like, anyway, no, the Fuchsia from Land of Fuchsia Land, and, um, coming at you with another bead drawing video, another ref sheet video, or character design reference sheet video, that's what ref sheet means, just, you know, character OC, character design reference sheet, so you can, you know, know what the character looks like, know the color schemes and all that jazz, so... Basically, just to get the design down and the colors down and it, all that jazz. So yeah, that, that's what this video is for, or what the drawing is for. Excuse me. Now that I realized I didn't look closer with, um... Um, I noticed that quite a few of the character design sheets, the characters' heads are a bit too big. Actually, well, in terms of, like like, big anatomical sense. I noticed how a few of them, the heads are a bit too big. <laughs> so, I don't know. I've been trying to, like, notice that, um, better in mid-process before the line art and stuff, like, it's still during the sketching phase. I try to keep an eye on that because, um, I don't know, especially the first one, in my opinion, is kind of like, on the full body shorts, of course, not the, like, you know, facial expression mini heads on the side. Like, on the full body shots, the heads are sometimes a bit off and in the most anatomical sense. Now that I'm looking at it, um, especially Ida Van Spalter's character design sheet, if you look in the character design, um, uh, playlist I have, and Ida is the first one. Her head it, on the full body shot is too big. <laughs> and um, like now that I look at it, I wish I could just scale it down a little bit or or just... um. And she's leaning quite to the side a bit much. <laughs> that I wish I had um, like um, been flipping the canvas regularly back then. <laughs> Cause I don't know... Like, if I were to flip the canvas, I don't know how much she would be leaning to one side, and it would just look weird. But anyway, I've been trying to notice, like, when the heads are a bit too big in the full body shorts, and I'm um, trying to remember to scale them down a little bit. And speaking of art lean and um, big heads, I'm starting to... I'm, I'm really tempted. It's still on my iPad in Procreate app. It's still on here, like, I maybe I'll just, like, you know, go back and, like, flip the canvas briefly and see how much she leans to one side and just cringe at it, too. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, what is this character about before the video ends? As you can see from the title and the top of the reference sheet, the character is named Casimir Obolensky. And, um... The name Casimir is kind of random, it's inspired from my days of being a Treyarch Zombies fan, I'm still a fan of it pretty much, and um, it came from the Casimir mechanism, although it was spelled C-A-S-I-M-I-R, and um, yeah, spelled that way, but I was glad that it, there was like a, a Russian given name variant of it, because apparently that version, that spelling of it, is like French and English or something like that. Anyway, but I was glad it came in like a Russian variant too. So yeah, and the fact that just spelling it with a K and a Z in it just made it sound cool. And there's already like a character in the Dybbuk verse named Cass, or go that goes by the nickname Cass. C-A-S, you know, but eh. That's another story further down the road, anyway. So, yeah, he is themed around the theme of blood and stuff, all that grody jazz. And, um, his face, um, it's really hard to draw. His face is really hard to draw, in my opinion, so far. Um, he's supposed to look like record producer and musician Mark Reader. Um, back when he was younger, like in the 80s and early 90s, record producer and musician Mark Reader. And by Mark Reader in American accent, it's like Mark Reader. Reader, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. No, that way, yeah, it is by an American accent. What am I talking about? Anyway, yeah, in face, he's supposed to look like that. He's supposed to look like he's supposed to have, like, you know, Mark Reader's face. Not necessarily his hair, but, you know. Yeah, 
kind of stylized hair a little bit to look different from Mark Rita's hair, even back in the 80s, 90s, but anyway. So, um, I really like how colors turn out. In this video and, um, uh, on Instagram, you might notice that the vein pattern <laughs> on his back, and the one that, the turn around that's the focused on his back and the vein on it down, going down the back of his outfit. Um, you may notice on Instagram, it's blue, but, um, kind of like on the tunic pot, skirt-ish pot. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but, um, but the vein is blue on Instagram on his back, but I changed it to be more gold, as you might see in the very, very finished version or the first few frames of this video, but, but, um, yeah, I changed it to gold because it just so it could make sense with the gold-ish, like, thing on his collar. <laughs> the gold part of his collar and, um, and, you know, the same, like, you know, gold-ish parts down on the tunic. Skirt-ish part. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. It's like, um, I don't know. I don't know, like, the just bottom of what is his jacket, coat thing, military coat thing, you know, that the thing, part of it that looks almost resembles kind of like a skirt, but it's like, you know, I don't know, like, you know, certain military outfits and stuff. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. What are technical terms anyway? Um, anyway, yeah, that, so, it, like, the gold vein, I changed it to gold, um, um, regardless of the Instagram version of it, um, that I posted, um, a bit too quickly. <laughs> Um, I changed the gold so it could make sense with the gold on his collar and the uh, the gold that is seen at the very bottom of his military jacket thing. <laughs> and um, I decided to include like a lot more things that um like very vein like shape because around that uh, circulated while well, puns anyway circulated around this theme of blood and stuff and you know veins and stuff. I I gave him some vein like shapes and um or design oops, patterns and um even those blood bag things like you know those uh things like string like things you know that would blood dro drop shape you know i try to make it very vein like adding some blue veins and there you go right there the back of the vein on its back going down its back is blue and um keeping to the you know theme of, you know, veins and stuff, like, making some parts of the outfit with the vein patterns looking, like, blue and light blue eyes, and uh, keeping some blue around the outfit here and there, you know, but still overall, obviously, the signature color, his signature color is red. My personal favorite color doesn't need to be anyone else's, but still. Anyway, I don't know, like, yeah, I, I like blue, too. I, I like all the colors, really, like, in certain ways, like, um, I don't know, I, I, I like all colors, kind of like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. yeah, um, so I don't know, but personally, red is my personal favorite, but still. Da, 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 and finishing up on the reference sheet, uh, uh, although I'm gonna, does the, is the video gonna show me changing it to gold? Uh... Just showing me, adding my signature, and uh, does the video show it? Anyway, I might show pictures of, like, at the very end of, like, his original outfit designs that led up to this one. Yeah, it didn't show it. And there it is, the gold, and stuff like that.